Hi, everybody. I wanted to share um, a testimony that happened this weekend where we had our health booth. And so when we were sitting there, Ernie looked at me and he said, look, look behind you. Look what ha what's happening. So I look behind me and I see a bunch of people carrying this lady to a more um, to a shaded part of the uh, the fair. And so I rushed over there. I grabbed my my stethoscope, my my blood pressure cuff and cayenne pepper. So when I got there, I um, I asked the family. Uh, the lady had uh, has a son and a and a daughter, and I asked them, you know, if if I could help, how I could be of help, and if I could take her blood pressure, and that I'm a nurse. And so they said, yes, please take her blood pressure. And at this at this point, um, she we had already sat her down. We put some um, some cold towels. Uh, on her neck gave her some water and so um, I asked I asked her ma'am would I um, can I take your blood pressure and she said yes please please and her blood pressure ended up to be 80 over 60 so that was fairly low and prior to her passing out um, while she was at one of the other booths she actually came by our booth and she had her blood pressure taken there and um it was around in, in the 140s over 80 and so to her for her to have 80 over 60 was really concerning to me so i i asked her um ma'am if you don't mind i'd like to give you some cayenne pepper to to increase your your blood pressure um, I explained to them that cayenne pepper can be used for people with hypotension or low blood pressure, also with people with high blood pressure to get their high blood pressure down. Um, I told them a little bit about it. For those who don't know um, the medicinal properties of cayenne pepper, it can stop a heart attack within 30 minutes because it dilates the blood the blood vessels. Um, it's also an antioxidant. It helps lower down your cholesterol levels. It's a natural pain reliever. Um, it it um, it's also blood thinner. Uh, it unclogs your arteries. And when you have a cold or a flu, it uh, it also clears mucus from your lungs and your sinuses, reduces inflammation and um, relieves headaches. So just so many so many benefits of using cayenne. So I was just sharing with them the heart benefits of cayenne pepper, and they were like, "Yes, please, you know, please, um, um, please give her some." And so I gave her about half of a one fourth teaspoon because I was uh, I had 90,000 heat units of cayenne so it's hot so I told the patient I said it it's going to it's going to be spicy it's going to be hot but if you could endure through it and just drink it all it would it would be beneficial to um, to your health and so she said okay you know she was she was uh, willing to do it so she drank a little bit her first gulp she goes girl you try to kill me <laughs> So, um, so I said, I know I'm so sorry, but if you could keep, you know, drinking it and finish it, if you can, it would be great. And so she did. And I said, I'll take your blood pressure again within five minutes. So while I was waiting for the five minutes, I started, you know, um, talking to her and just trying to get to know her, you know, if she you know lived in town or if she was a visitor from out of town and um so after the five minutes had passed and she was really a she's she's a sweet old lady and after the five minutes had passed i told her okay i'm gonna check your blood pressure again and so when i checked it it was 160 over 80. so she went from 60 over 80 to 160 over 80. so um I was praising the Lord and I'm like Lord within five minutes you know um, her 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 blood pressure uh, increased and I kept you know thanking God in my mind and I'm like oh even in front of her I'm like praise God you know your, your blood pressure is up and at that point even at 160 I wasn't that concerned because she had come down from so low and her baseline is at 140 so I said and, and at that point she was she was uh, more chippy and she you know was starting to talk more and you know she was a lot more coherent um so i i you know i asked her and her they were they were very thankful um you know that we were there to help my my friend esther and i and so i asked her i said ma'am can i pray for you 
And then she said, yes, please, we would love that. And the daughter and the son were saying the same thing, please, yes. So we all knelt down. I had Esther pray. And um, and then after that, we gave her, they, we gave them some literature, like health literatures and stuff like that. And and the daughter looked, flipped through it and she was like, oh, this is great. This is awesome. Thank you so much. And they were just so grateful and so thankful and, and kept thanking us for for um, for helping them. And, and even uh, Miss Mary is her name. And and Miss Mary said, thank you so much for saving my life. I said, no, ma'am, it's it wasn't me that saved your life. It's God. Um, God just put put us you know at the right place <laughs> at the right time so she said oh you know thank the Lord and you know so it was just awesome to see how much the really how much the the medical missionary work um, is definitely the entering wedge you know it, it opened up because we had helped her it really opened up their hearts to receive you know um some of these health literatures that we we gave them and then so you know we you know i was praying for her that night and 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 praying and hoping that that she you know had gotten better and so um the next day we were at the fair all of a sudden i see miss mary with her children and so you know they had come by They thanked me again, and I said, "Oh, Miss Mary, thank you so much for coming to to visit to visit and stop by our booth again." And you know, I had been thinking of you, and and I prayed for you that night, you know, to, um, and I wanted to see how you were doing, and you know, so I'm so glad that you had stopped by, and you know, we we hugged and um, we exchanged contact information, and uh, we told them that if they were in town that we would be we'd be more than happy to host them for lunch yes you know and I wanted to keep in touch I told her Miss Mary I would love to keep in touch with you and and she's like please yes we took pictures and it was just an awesome experience and I you know I it was a, a, a we gained friendship you know and so through all of that I it just really it's it was just so inspiring and, and so encouraging that not only this the natural remedies work and and that God's method of healing works but to be able to actually see that the medical missionary work is the entering wedge for the gospel was just I was just blown away I'm like Lord this is the work that you are having us do this is the mrs white says that this is the the work that will carry on until jesus comes this is the work that every member of the church should get a hold of and actually do and it's just really it's just so amazing to see that it's amazing that the medical missionary work will open the door and the god for the gospel to come in so i praise god for the opportunity I, I'm, I'm just so happy and grateful that though I'm not worthy that I was given that opportunity to be there that time and to, to help um, somebody that was in need and again for gain friendship um, because of it. And so um, I just want to encourage you. You know, I know that that sometimes with life and even with me having three children and and, you know, having our ministry, you know, it can though it can get cumbersome and we can all get busy. But if we ask God and if we sincerely want to learn this work, the prophet says that what has taken others years to learn will only take us a few months. So, and I've seen that happen time and time again. So many people learning and so much and soaking in so much in just a few months. So I encourage you to keep learning. I encourage you to learn the medical missionary work because soon there there will be no more work in the ministerial lines except that of the medical missionary work and imagine if say you know your parents or even yourself um you know right now you're taking medications and come no buy no sell you won't be able to buy medications 
and that's why I truly believe that we need to learn how to even treat just even just simple things you know not not just for ourselves and our family but especially those around us um, we can definitely help our community and help the people you know in our in our circle of influence and our goal is to lead more people to Christ so that when he comes we will be standing with all of the people um, that we had witnessed to and that we, we, we had help and we're bringing more, more, more people to Christ. So that is our goal as medical missionary is to point them to Christ.